God for everyone that pressed their way to be in this service today. We come to give God the glory because he's been so good to us. And that's why we are grateful for what he's already done. We thank God. We ask you to turn over here to Psalms 124. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God. Thank God for uh, Brother Sanders reading that 124 song, starting at the first verse. I want to read three verses of that. Four, four verses of that. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel said, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rolled up against us. Verse 7 said, Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare, out the fowl. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the Lord. I, oh, my Lord. Our help is in the Lord's name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God is my helper in a time like this. We praise God. And the Lord dropped in my heart, said, keep the confidence. Keep the confidence. And we have confidence in the Lord. We have confidence in the Lord. Because he is our divine helper. He our divine defense. And he is our blessing. He is our deliverer. Because we have that confidence in God. When you got that confidence in God, can't nobody move you. Confidence in God. Confidence in God is having that firm trust in God. When you relied on God, you have that trust in him. You have that promise that you are going to trust God. Having that confidence in God is having the assurance that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Confidence also increase your faith. Increasing your faith by praying and fasting. You have to have that self-assurance in your heart, in your soul that you know that you can make it. Why? Because we got that confidence in God that we know he's going to bring us out. And we know he heard our prayer. And he have answered our prayer. Why? Because we have that confidence that we know that he's going to move in a supernatural way. I have a confidence, and that confidence is in God. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. You have to have the assurance in your soul that you can make it. Confidence is having that hope, that hope to believe that God is going to do what he said he's going to do. Why? Because I have that hope. And I have that trust, and I have that faith. Confidence is not feeling supreme about yourself, but you're feeling good about yourself. Why? Because you got confidence that God is going to move that mountain. You got confidence that God is working things in your behalf because you have that confidence in God. But feeling good is supreme. It's powerful. And it's capable of everything. Because you have 
their confidence. What an example that we have and that we know because we know God is working it out. What our example is believing that the sun will rise again. We had that confidence that tomorrow is going to be a good day. And I thought about one of the characters in the Bible. And I thought about old Joe had that confidence. Joe had that faith, believing that God is going to bring her through this. Joe, God was going to bring him out. He had lost everything. And because his body began to come sick in his body, and he said, Lord, give, and the Lord take it back. Then he said, blessed be the name of the Lord, because my redeemer, it lives, and it lives in my heart. I know he's working it out. I lost everything. I lost all of my children. I lost my wife. My friends came to me. Everyone looked down on me. But Joe said, but my redeemer, it lives. Why? Because I have that confidence. I'm not going to let go. I'm not going to turn him loose. But I'm going to keep the faith. I'm going to keep looking up to God. Because I know he's going to bring me out. Because I know a change is coming. I know a change is had taken place. I know a change in America and a prayer answer. God have heard our cry. God has seen our tears. A change will come. So there a Joe new in his life that God was going to bring him out because he said a change would come. Then I thought about Moses, that confidence that he had in God. And he did, when the Lord told Moses, tell the people, fear not, but stand still and see the salvation of God. Moses had that confidence in God that he knew that thing was going to work out. When he went up there and when he went to the promised land, he knew that God was working it out. When Moses stood there on the mountain top and looked and saw all that red sea, all the water, but he had confidence that they were going to walk on dry land. He had confidence that God said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. I'll be there when your friends walk away. I'll be there when your family turn against you. I'll be there. Why? Because I have that confidence that he said he'll never leave me. He won't never leave you, say, because he promised. He promised that he would never leave you. He promised that he'll be there. Moses had in his heart, I know God is going to be with me. I don't care how it looks, he's going to be there. Why? Because I have that confidence. I have a confidence to know that God is going to do what he said we're going to do. You got to stand on the word of God. You got to believe God's word. You got to have that faith and know that God is taking you through. Every trial you come in your life, God is taking you through. It may look hard and it may look dim and it may look like it ain't working in your behalf, but God is bringing you through. Why? Because you got that firm confidence. Oh. What a mighty God. I thought about old Abraham. Oh, when God told him he's going to have a son. Oh, Abraham began to wonder about that. Sarah began to laugh about it because they won because of their age. Oh, how can this be? But you know, but God made a promise. And one thing, when God make a promise, he's going to stick with his promise. If you say he's going to do it, he's going to do it. If you say he's going to save your husband, save your wife, he's going to do it. Why? Because God 
a God of promise. And when he made that promise to Abraham, Abraham had nothing to worry about. See, when God make a promise, all you got to do is relax in the Lord. All you got to do, just give it to the Lord. All you got to do, just turn it over to the Lord. And he going to see you through. He going to make that way out of no way. He opened up doors that seem to be closed. Oh, he'll put food on your table, clothes on your back. Oh, yes, he will. He will supply your every need because he's a God of promise. And that promise, he said, I'm going to take care of you. He took care of his people. And then we can say, what shall we say to these things? What shall we say to these things? We have that confidence. So what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, if God be for you, if God be for us, we have that confidence that God is for us. What can we say to these things? What can we say to these things? What can we do to these things? What can we say to these things? Hey, yes, sir. If God be for us, if God be for us, if God be for us, what can we say? What can we do if God is for us? What can we do? Huh. And then he put the last word on it. He can be who can be against us. If God for us, who can be against us? I don't care what comes up against us, but God is for us. That's why David wrote down, if it had not been, if it had not been, if it had not been, the Lord on my side, what? shall be against us if the Lord is on my side. I have that confidence. Whatever it might come, whatever it might go, if the Lord for us, who can be against us? Who can go against us? Oh, my Lord, what a mighty God. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. And we know that all. <laughs> and we know all things. It's working. It's working for your good. 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 To them that love him, that love God, to the man, to them who are called, are calling to his purpose. It's working now for your good. You may look at it and see it's not working now. But oh my Lord, he's working it out for your good. For your good. That's why we can say. What shall we then say to them, to these old things? Because God is working it out. He's working out for your good, for your good. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, yes, he is. He's working it out for your good. And that's why we can say that we hold on to hope. We hold on to faith. We hold on to confidence. We hold on to trust 
because we know that God is looking down on us and he cared for us. He had heard our tears. Oh, he has seen the tears. He's working it out. Oh, because that's why we can say that the Christian people, you have hope and you have that living hope because it's based on your, the promise of God. We have that hope. Last week, I was telling you, hold on to your hope because I know it is going to get better. Hold on, saints, and don't turn loose to the hope because we know it's going to get better. We know it's going to get better. He said it would, and I know it would. It's going to get better if we hold on to our hope. Oh, we thank God. That confidence is in the Lord. That's why David knew that he had that confidence. And he said, it has, has not been the Lord that was on my side. Where will we be today? Where will we be today? Where will we be today? If it had not been for the Lord that was on your side. <laughs> that was on your side. And that was on my side. When the doctor gave you bad report, if it had not been for the Lord, that was on our side. We would go under. But it's God that keep us going. If it had not, if it had not been for the Lord that stood by me, when the enemy come up against me, trying to overtake me, when they told lies on me, they scandalized my name. They tried to destroy me. They tried to carry my character down. But God stood there with me. Hey! What a mighty God you be serving. What a mighty God that hold us up. The devil meant that, but God, my God, my God, stood there and meant it for good. He turned it around and he meant it for good. You can't show me. You can't keep me down. Because God is for me. And that's why David stood out and said, if it had not been, if it had not been, for the Lord that was on my side. That was on my side. Where would I go? Where would I be if the Lord didn't protect me? Oh, but David knew and his confidence was in. And he knew that's why David began to repeat. He said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. And when he began to look up to the Lord, he had that confidence on the inside. When he began to look up to the Lord, he began to have that confidence. When you put your trust in God, when you look up to the Lord, and that's what he said, lift up your head, oh ye gates. Lift up your head, lift up your head. Your head ought to be lifted up this morning because you got the victory. You had the victory. Lift up your head, oh ye gates. And be lifted up, says the Lord.
and the king of glory <laughs> and the king of glory share come in who is the king of glory who is the king of glory who is the king of glory he's the lord of lords the king of glory shall come in <laughs> he shall come in well because your eyes are looking up and your head is looking up and your confidence is in God he look up hold ye gates and be lifted up says the Lord come on put your hand together <laughs> 